North Trail RV Center is one of America's largest motorhome dealers. Top brands including Newmar, Tiffin, Airstream, Renegade, and more. 100 service bays, RV parts megastore, collision center, and more. Trade-ins wanted, top dollar paid. Contact us today to save. Call 239-693-8200. Online at NorthTrailRV.com. Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to take you on a tour of the 2022 Tiffin Midas Model 24RT. So let's get started. Here is an overview of the layout. And here are the specifications. Step board for the passenger. Power step right under the entry door. LED light above, big awning on top with LED lights, frameless windows. This one is an opening window. Down below is a lockable storage compartment and right beside it is another lockable storage compartment and these open up into one single unit. Lots of space in there. Beside that is another lockable storage area. Couple of opening windows right here. Below, there's a lockable storage area. Below that is the propane fill. Now back here, there's a lockable storage area. That is also a big pass-through storage area with three entrance areas. Connection for an exterior grill right there. Moving to the back, there's a backup camera above. And this door opens up like this, giving you a big entry to that same storage area I just showed you. There are two 110 outlets in here. Nice big garage space. Small pitch. And check out all that clearance. Moving to the driver's side, here's another look at that big garage storage area in the rear. Potable water fill that is lockable. On the side of that, there's a lockable storage area. Couple of opening windows above. Below, this area is lockable and it does have the 30 amp plug-in. This is an access port. Still lockable. On the side of that is a lockable compartment with the outdoor shower, the city water, your flush, the water pump switch, and below is the sewer connection. Right on the side of that is the lockable compartment for the Onan QG 4000 watt generator. Keypad entry right here on the driver's door. Opening that up, you can access your fuel fill. Sidestep for the driver. There are bi xenon HID lights. Camera up front and some front sensors. A 
All right, time to check out the interior of this RV. Screen door right in the main entry door. Pull down privacy shade. And let's step on in. There's a grab handle right here on the side. And here's what it looks like inside. All right, so let's start with the cockpit area. Now I do have a somewhat open area for headroom, but I do still have to take a small step down and then duck my head to enter the cockpit area. Now the seat is comfortable. They are cloth seats and they are manually adjusted. There are power mirrors, a large cup holder on the side here for the driver, a little storage area below, the steering wheel has some controls right here at my fingertips. Right in front of the driver, there's a little storage area to stash some items. There's a USB port and a 12 volt. In the center, another little area where you can stash some items. An area right in front of that that is smaller. And on the passenger side, another little area for stashing some items. There's also a cup holder over here for the passenger. Another little storage area below that. And a pretty deep glove box below. Moving to the center, there's a small touch screen. A couple of drink holders below. A USB port and a 12 volt. Now above the driver and passenger areas, there's a ledge for storing some additional items along with these two little cubbies. All right, let's check out the rest of this RV. Now behind the driver's seat, there's this little pocket where you can stash some items. On the side of the passenger seat, there's a battery boost on off switch. Now right over the cockpit area, there's a TV right in the center above and a couple of generous sized storage areas with some bungee netting. On the side here, there's the antenna and cable switches, the Xantrex controller, the Cummings Onan generator start stop switch and the battery hours monitor, the Truma AquaGo, and below that is the solar controller. Right here is the awning switches and on the side of that, the main control panel. Below that, there are two 110 outlets and two USB ports. And down below is the fire extinguisher. Now, in the step area is the master on off switch. On the other side, there are two 110 outlets, and below that is the leveling controller, and down here is the spider disconnect and the step on off switch. Now let's check out the passenger seating. So it's right behind the cockpit area, and you can easily see the TV from here, and it is seating for two, and there are seat belts for two. There are two 110 outlets right in front of me, along with two USB ports. Big window on the side here, does not open up, but there is a privacy shade. Now on the back of the seating, on top here, there are two large drink holders along with two USB ports. Now this seating area turns into a small single bed. So you just remove this backrest set that aside for now and then you pull out this part here and it glides out nicely take a look at all that storage room you have in there you can use that for storage now I'm gonna go grab that backrest
then simply lay it down in that spot and check that out. Nice little area to relax. Good size for one person. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put it back into a seating area. Pull that out. Slide it on in. And place this back in its spot. Now it's back to a seating area. Now I'm going to show you all the storage that there is behind this seating area. So right here there is a wall of drawers and there's a groove underneath each drawer that you can pull on and check out how long and deep that drawer is. Love that there's no protruding handles, nothing to get yourself caught on. There's the second one, same size as the top one. Third one, same size. And the lower one you grab on the top and same size. Lots of storage right there. Now let's check out the kitchen. It's located right across. So there is a good amount of counter space right here. The cooktop and the sink both have covers. So let's start with the cooktop. So you have to remove these two panels and it's a one burner induction cooktop. Sink has two separate panels also, and it's a really good sized sink. Nice angled faucet with this big pull out spray hose. Now above me is the microwave and it is convection. So let's check that out. It's a good size. On the side of the microwave, there's a cabinet. And it's got quite a bit of room in there. There is an outlet in there. The microwave is plugged into it though. Some lights right underneath that upper cabinet area. Now there's a big window right in front of me and it does open up awning style. Has a nice big screen and a pull down shade for privacy. Let's check out the storage below. So there are three drawers right here. So there's the lower drawer, nice and deep. The middle one, same size as the one on the bottom. And here is the upper one. Good amount of room in there. Let's check out this cabinet area. Big area for storage and there is a shelf in there. Right on the side of the kitchen, there's this pull out pantry. Check that out. Two levels of storage and they are pretty tall so you can really get some tall items in there. Love that. A drawer below which is really deep. Another one below that. And one on the bottom. Good amount of storage right there. So on the side there's another large storage area. So now let's check out the freezer and refrigerator. The freezer is right on top and it's a decent size. It's got a shelf in there and I'm not seeing a bin on the door. Below that it's a good size. There are one, two, three levels of storage along with a couple of deep bins below. The refrigerator door has three bins in it that are adjustable. Now across from the refrigerator is the bathroom. Take a look.
There's a sliding pocket door for privacy. And I'm gonna step in now and check it out. Good amount of room in here. I'm gonna start with the shower. Stepping in there. Retractable shower door. I have a good amount of room in here. I have a lot of headspace. There is a curved skylight above. Check out the shower head. It's got some adjustments on it and a start stop switch for the water. Now the medicine cabinet door has this good sized mirror on it. Let's open that up. Good amount of storage in there. There is a shelf to help store your items. Right below is a ceramic sink bowl. Love it. Right below there are two drawers for storage, nice and deep. Now the toilet is a good size and it is ceramic. Opening window right here in the bathroom does open up awning style, has a screen in it and a pull down privacy shade. A couple of cabinet doors right here that open up into one single unit. Large towel bar right below and a toilet paper holder right here. On the wall, there's some light switches, one for the bathroom, one for the hall, one for the shower, and the water pump switch. All right. Now let's check out the bedroom. It's located in the rear of the coach. So there is a little step right here and another little step above that one. And this is the bedroom area. So starting on the driver's side, there's a climate controller right here. Big window area and they do open up awning style. This one serves as an emergency exit, has screens in it and a pull down shade for privacy. Back here, there are two 110 outlets along with two USB ports, an adjustable reading light. That is pretty bright. Let's check out the cabinets above. So there's one, two, three cabinet doors and it opens up into one big single unit. They latch very nicely too. Over on the passenger side, another adjustable reading light that you can easily turn on and off. Two 110 outlets along with two USB ports. Another window area. These two on the bottom do open up awning style and have their screens in them. A pull down shade of four privacy. On the side here, there are two 110 outlets along with some cable ports and some light switches right there. On the driver's side below, there are some drawers. That is pretty deep. Another drawer on the side of that, same size. The passenger side has a little storage right under the bed. And this is also accessible from the outside lockable compartment. Now you can use this as two separate twin beds or you can make this into one big bed. I'm going to show you how. So I'm going to go over to the driver's side and pull on this wood support area and just pull that right across onto the passenger side and set that on the ledge on that side. Now I'm gonna reach over and grab those cushions and they're all connected, three in one, making it so easy. And I'm just gonna push those right on in. All right, I'm gonna give it a try. Oh, 
lots of room back here and it's so comfortable, nice and soft. All right, I'm gonna put it back into twin beds. So I'm gonna pull up on those cushions, just like that, that was pretty easy. So now I'm gonna put this support beam back in its place. And there you go. Now you have a big open bedroom area and two twin beds. There's even a power air vent located right here in the bedroom area. A low profile AC unit right in front. And another power air vent located right here in the kitchen area. So that pretty much wraps it up for this tour of the 2022 Tiffin Midas Model 24RT. Now, I loved that the rear bedroom area was spacious and you can use it as separate twin beds or you can put it together and make one big bed. However, there is no TV in here. The bathroom was a pretty good size. The kitchen had lots of storage. In fact, there's a lot of storage located throughout the coach, inside and on the exterior. Loved that this passenger seating area also converts into a bed for one. So thank you so much for joining me today. Please subscribe to my channel and join me for lots more videos. Bye for now.